super blood moon, the egg of an elephant bird, conjoined twins, rare things certainly, but rarer still is a person who can find a man like me. So I congratulate you, mercenary. You are talented, an expert in slaughter, execution, assassination and destruction, proficient in espionage, pursuit and expose, and no less important, very, very good at making friends. Your references are impeccable. Before his glorious beatification, Eduardo spoke highly of your bravery. Despite Tonio's terrible temper, he respected your methods. In Arturo, the zealot himself was impressed by your dedication. These men gave their opinions without threat or agenda. So you must come to work for me now, mercenary. The operations of Santa Blanca need persons who swim well in shark-infested waters. Of course, you must first demonstrate your sincerity by performing two assignments for me. Then we will know if you are truly a Calzón Quintana. <laughs> Wait patiently, colega. I will contact you soon. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the final mission of Ghost Recon Wildlands, Narco Roads. I want to say Narcos Roads. That makes sense. There's a, Netflix, there's a Netflix show called Narcos, right? I heard it's really good. I still need a... What, what Netflix show am I missing that I should watch? I heard Stranger Things is good. What else? I, I don't know what else. I'm asking you guys. It really doesn't make sense. This is not live. What the? Land! I mean, we landed. <laughs> we re we landed. Now this place looks familiar. God, I cannot talk right now. My voice is going out right now because <laughs> I've been yelling and screaming, rage quitting at this game. Now this place looks familiar because this is the place we. Uh, this is La Plaga's villa, right? La Plaga. Sniper up there. I thought that trash can was some I thought that trash can was someone. Alright. Um uh, Take a deep breath, Malcolm. You can do this. You versus the world. Alright, let's get my mic off my chest. I mean help me talk. Not really, but he's the last one I'm missing. I thought I saw someone right there. Am I tripping? I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. Is that the song? No. Yeah, I'm something. Five. How do you go upstairs? There's another way. No. I said that's so weird, but I mean it. No. All right, let's go out front again. Ah, shit. I blame you guys, internet. You messed up. I thought the internet is supposed to have my back, like a butt crack. With that yig yig yak, not yig yig yak, yik yak, yik yak, paddy whack. Punch a person in the toe. No, you guys don't have to invite your friends. Like, please don't invite your friends. Just don't. All right, where we found La Plaga, he was under here. Might as well go. The plug. Uh. Target's gone. Not in feeling as Moro already knows this. 
it is possible there are details of his whereabouts on the computer. I suggest you hack into it. This should not be difficult. I am sure you are more than just a blunt instrument. What did he say? Damn it. Your hack has triggered an alarm. Looney Dad are attacking. But hold that position. You need to find your target's location. Frag out. Frag out. Any more sons? Let's go. Scare them away with the grenades. Plus, I got this baby. Watch this. Ooh, sign. Maximum power. I felt like I was about to miss that one. You have the details, so move fast. This snake does not want to be caught. Frag out. Lemire to Culeros. Download. You motherfuckers are supposed to be protecting me. The fuck do you think I'm doing? They know where I live. But here you are. Say with me. I do not feel safe. Just me, John Santa Blanca's famous El Invisible. You will never feel safe. I curse the day I fix that PDA. I curse the day I find out who it belongs to. And I curse the day I came to you. You should have come to us before you give the thing back. Download stopped. It will not be so bad. They will give you cheap cocaine and much pornography. <laughs> I would prefer a new identity and a faraway place to live. They would still find you. El Invisible has contacts all over the world. If I had a new name, you would need a new face. Are you saying that cosmetic surgery is available to me? Cosmetic surgery? <laughs> if we can find you a no wig and a full mustache, we will be lucky. I let him go, we'll never see Mr. Mysterious again, let alone his PDA. Yep. 
cut the hole. Make it clean. <laughs> I wonder if I could get him with this helicopter. This helicopter has rockets. They're not shooting. What the? I'm pressing A. The rockets aren't shooting. There we go. I switched seats for a second. Oh, come on, aim down. Why is the aim all the way down here? Oh, he got out. All right. Sorry, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Did I shoot down my own helicopter? Crap matters. I freaking shot down my own helicopter. I, I don't know if I should feel accomplished or not. All right. What's next? Oop. El Invisible has one final task before you can actually meet him. He needs you to disappear and become as invisible as he. I guess this is your territory, ghost. Mercenario, a test for you. I would like you to kill yourself. Please do not be alarmed. You are not required to die, only to make believe that you are dead. Your heroics have upset too many of my workers and they call for your head. So it is best that you work as a ghost. First, you will need a corpse to act as your corpse. There is a Unidad commander on my payroll who is now asking for too much money. You will find him at the San Rodrigo Monastery. Do not delay. Work as a ghost? I like that. A ghost ghost. Yeah, I get it. I was about to say that's a double entendre. Nope, that is not a double entendre. <laughs> It's just a little funny. That's what it is. No shortage of corpses around here. Yeah, thanks for the advice, buddy. It is pretty far away. Yo, I look balling with this. Do you? I got the Assassin's Creed symbol on me. Well, not on me, on my backpack. God, that would be the dumbest thing ever if there were some missile launchers. Ooh, watch this. Here we go. Yeah, play that rock music. I'm confused. Don't we want this guy dead because he's gonna act as our body double? Uh, double. Did I say that right? Body double. How, how do you say body double? Double. There we go. Not body double. Wait, what? Jesus, did I just confuse myself with words by just saying body, body double? Christ, again. Suéltame, cabrón. 
Every time I get confused, I like, mix my words or mix my words. I blame on Hideo Kojima. Homeboy called it. It can kill words. Oh, man, I should have put him in the trunk. Good work, mercenario. So let me tell you the rest of the plan. This car is filled with explosives. We are time to explode in a few minutes. Simply take the commander and the car to the river outpost. Leave the car at the drop point and watch your public persona. Be entirely incinerated. Save your breath for your prayers. Persona! Wait, hold up. Real talk. Did that one guy jump in our way and I ran him over? Man, at least the game didn't end. He is my ally. with the bull cowboy and you are going to get the horns i'm commander jose miguel alberto carrieri de velasco franco i'm going to have a gorilla fuck your ass so hard you will have to unbottom your car to shit then i'm going to take a screwdriver and stab it through every organ in your fucking body after this i will bite off your fingers one by one and dip your stubs in battery acid allowing that I will personally gouge out your sticking eyeballs. Skull fuck you to the sockets and come inside your brain. And when you're dead, I will start on your family. I will skin your mother alive and roll her in vinegar. And if she's already dead, I will dig up her bones and make the gyro soup. I am Commander Jose Miguel Alberto Carrieri de Velasco Franco. No one fucks with me! What is with this dude? Sorry, I'm gonna have to kill all of you guys. You just end the way. Have a gorilla fuck me. I mean, I don't know what to think about that. Have a gorilla, I mean, how big is a gorilla penis? I see a horse penis before, thanks to SFM. But, man. The grill, I think, is still, <laughs> it's still in my head. Send the chopper and the car at all costs. With the GPS history, we can break the smuggling route and save a lot of lives.
back out. Okay, we got the information we need. Now get that car and your dead man walking to the destination and start thinking like a corpse. Eyes on the camp, and you are not here, Colega. In two minutes, you will be blown to pieces. It's only the beginning. I ask of you two things, Mercenario, and you have twice been successful. I see that your sincerity is genuine and that your mythology is no exaggeration. You shall work for me, and it is time for us to meet face to face. Go to Jorillo's food storage. Leave your weapons in the locker you find them. I will come to you. For a relationship to blossom, trust is essential. Face to face, huh? What are the odds he's a dwarf in a white suit? I'm not gonna lie. I don't mind what just happened. Freaking just... I, I didn't know there was a door or whatever to the, to the right of me. I just... I was supposed to die. Oh, lucky me. Wait, where the hell do I supposed to go? Finally, El Invisible welcomes you into his inner circle. Meet him at the rendezvous point and follow the procedure. <laughs> oh, never trust. Or have you been taught to ignore such trivial pain? Where were you schooled? Langley? Camp Kiri? The Point? It seems to me that you ghosts could use a little less training from the CIA and a little more from the actors' studio. Is it me you were after? Or my PDA? It doesn't matter now. We will both soon be out of your reach. I have enjoyed watching your progress, Spy. Very entertaining. As thanks, I will open the cell for you Give you one last try at catching El Invisible. Adios, colega. Me versus the world right now. Zamuro's played you like a damn fiddle. Don't let that son of a bitch escape. I found him once, I will find him again. Put that guy there. This is bad. I was going to do this part stealthy, too.
There's a vehicle coming that's going to be our way out. Hold on. Boom shakalaka. That's our way out. Just gotta be smart about this. This way to go around, by go this way. Alright, we can do that. Let's do this. Wait, go around. There's no exit this way. I just went into a circle. Wait, is there a way this way? No, we're just going up. God, Jesus. Man, I thought I'd, pu I thought I'd pull one over them. These son of a bees really persistent. Come on, exit's right there. throw a grenade just because I threw one someone could get hurt Frag out. I can tell I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh, maybe not. The vehicle is coming to me. Frag out. Get some. That's my chance. Sorry, fellas. It's been real sweet. As they say, you must let the bear out of its cage once in a while. Or oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, you get out of your car, lady. Oh, Jesus. God, are you kidding me? Well, it shows it's not a threat anymore. All right, I don't care. Let's GTFO. Move. Well, 
Wait. Crap. Actually, nope. Never mind. You got it right. That's the second time that has happened that I should have died. Hey, I ain't complaining. Ha, gringo. So I'm hearing that you are CIA in disguise. Everyone is talking about it. Everyone is very mad and wants you dead. Again. <laughs> Me though? I don't get that. But I have a very good idea. It has been my wish to get out of Bolivia for a very long time. Get away from crime and drugs in Santa Blanca. Always wanted to go somewhere free. Where brave people are. Somewhere like, say, the United States. I think of you to help me. For such a favor, I could give you the exact whereabouts of Zamuro. What do you say? You give me Zamuro. I'll take you to the Statue of Liberty myself and whistle Dixie all the way. <laughs> that is too kind. But I plan to do much resting and fishing. All I ask is that you provide a helicopter to take me to America. And that I am granted full immunity, of course, and immediate citizenship. <laughs> Ellen Visible thinks he has the upper hand. He doesn't. We have one last card to play. Senor Sonrisa activated some of his contacts. He activated some of theirs. Long story short, he can lead us to El Invisible and wants to make a deal. Meet him and see what he has to offer. I am very excited about becoming an American. It is true, I think that there you can change yourself. One day you are very poor, the next day very rich, if you work hard, if you are an honest man. I also hear that there are many parties and fun to be had, but I also hear the opposite, that everyone carries guns because the cities are very mean and dangerous. That is why I'm planning to live in the countryside. I will live in a big house with a white fence, and I'm planning to marry and divorce several times. I believe that is the American way. Also, I will eat fast food for dinner every night. Burgers and fries and coke. Of course, then my teeth will become bad, which is not good. But luckily for me in America, I can get the beautiful teeth, yes? There, everyone has beautiful teeth. Senior Sonrista will have a big white smile at long, long last. one-way ticket just in case you were thinking of coming back <laughs> thank you my friend I will be very happy and so will you be when you find mr. Zamoro at his bunker in the Florida Oro region good luck and as they say where I am going have a nice day have a nice day is that is that what we say in America I was having a nice trip I mean have a nice day I have no issues with that I hope you have a nice day too. Alright. Underground? I was about to ask the question, is his bunker underground? I'm like, is there a... Well, of course there's a bunker above ground. Well, there's underground bunkers too. I think. I mean, I'm about 98% sure. Yes, I played Fallout. The world is so confusing to me. Uh oh. So he's the only one. 
Well, of course. It would be too easy if I could have gotten in like this. Who am I to freaking bat my eye at? Oh, wait. Hold up. I got an idea. I got my monster truck up here. That'd be awesome. This would work. We'll see. Because I do not want to go all the way around. Yes! It took me about like three tries, but I did it. There, Ghost. Thermal imaging is showing that El Zamuro is not in the bunker. But this is his safe house. So the PDA may well be stashed here. Search the place. And be careful. Mr. Invisible has any dead soldiers on his payroll. Well, that's not good to hear. Well, homeboy was smart. He would have the PDA with him. We shall see. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Where's the other one? Well, I guess he's above ground. Man, this is a big tunnel. Spotted one with submachine guns. I got another. That's five. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Okay, I think that's everyone in here. Man, that was so close. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm just getting lucky. Has the lamp. Let's see what's hidden inside. Hold the party. That place is rigged with explosives. Get out fast. Is this the way out? Nope. God, Jesus, this place blew up right here. This freaking. Freaking uh, Uden Dead SUV. Oh my god. god are you kidding me? You're not taking me down that easy. Oh, he took me down.
Job well done, soldier. You got a room full of suits standing and applauding here. So get that damn thing back to us so we can decrypt it. If we're right, if that's Zamuro's logistics database, then Santa Blanca will be out of business by the end of the month. Yeah, boy. They sure are taking their time. Decoding, extraction, it's not easy. One mistake, we lose all the data. Spider's web unravels. Sunrisa? How the hell? Wait! Fuck! Stand down! Stand down! Thank you for this. You have personally delivered a virus into the heart of the CIA. You! You're El Zamuro! <laughs> we don't point fingers, we don't take sides or make excuses. What happened is not down to any individual, any team or policy. We were victim of a clever deception and could not have known the damage that this deception would cause. Sonrisa's or El Zamuro's real name is Jose Vargas. He had been planning this attack and his extraction for some time. The hacker, Regillo, arrested by the CIA prior to these events, was the deliberate catalyst. The information Regillo gave us about El Invisible and his PDA was false. What concerns us is that we found no evidence to suggest that Vargas was a natural enemy of the CIA. So the question remains, why us and why now? Vargas was estranged from his Chukisaka family and friends. He made a name for himself on the streets as the cunning but affable fence, Sonrisa. Later, he was confidentially recruited by Santa Blanca to control their smuggling network. But this El Invisible, as he became known, was never personally affected by CIA operations. One source suggested that during the recent drug wars, someone close to Vargas was killed by the DEA. The name Capullo de Rosa appears on several confessions we have obtained, but we can only speculate about this person's involvement in our story. What is clear, however, is that Vargas wanted to give up his position in the Santa Blanca hierarchy and used us to help him start a new life in America. Regrettably, a man with such skills at hiding his true identity has proved impossible to trace. My advice to you would be to learn from the unfortunate affair and put it all behind you. You listening, soldier? It's the news we've been waiting for. Jose Vargas has them located. Not the fortified penthouse some of us were expecting, but a small hut in rural Arizona, close to the Grand Canyon. Got some big fish in that river there. Well, it's time to catch this one. Take him out. Hook, line, and sinker. to die it's just a moment we're here then we're not here don't expect me to be scared now you're not here how's that for you
And that, ladies and gents, was Ghost Recon Wildlands Narco Road. Thank you all for watching this and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough. Thank you and much appreciated. I gotta say, that was a weird way to end the expansion passes that uh, just kill the dude straight up. Uh, not just kill him, I freaking shot him in the head once. That didn't kill him, all right? Shot him, what, in the shoulder? Didn't kill him, then I had to shoot him in the freaking gut. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like, dude, just stay down. Like, like you get shot twice, stay down. Like, that means something. God's trying to tell you something. And when you get shot a third time, I don't know. Like, to be honest, I don't know. I have no idea where I was, where I was going with that statement, but I don't know. I can say I don't know, like, five times, but, you know, don't want to. Anywho, ladies and gents, um, for my next gameplay walkthrough, I will be doing a full walkthrough of Outlast 2, so be expecting part one of that walkthrough on April 24th, which is a Monday around 2 p.m. Central Time, so, yeah, around 2 p.m. Central Time, and also, um, I, I will be doing another full walkthrough of uh, a game that comes out the same day, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, so be expecting that, uh, part one of that either the same day or the day after on like tuesday afternoon april 25th and yeah that's about it like i say ladies and gents i know i say this all the time and i really do mean it uh thank you all for watching this and thank you all for joining me for this walkthrough um you guys know i want to be doing this cool ass awesome kick-ass job without your love and support thank you thank you thank you much appreciate it uh before i let you guys go if you guys could please leave a like on this video if you guys like what you saw Please subscribe for more content, it helps out the channel a lot. Share my channel and my videos to all your friends, family, cats, and dogs, and whoever, who nuts. I almost flubbed that one up. And you can follow me on Twitter, at Beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. And I also started a Patreon page, you guys can go over there, donate. Started at the $3 tier, so I can keep making some cool shits nuts over here at this YouTube.com slash Beta. That is Patreon.com slash Beta, B-A-Y-T-U-H. And without further ado, ladies and gents, my name is Malcolm, also known as Beta, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.